from the Broadway stage to TV, Barbara Luna has been acting since she was a child. And she's here today to talk about her incredible career and what's coming up next. Thank you so much and welcome. I should call you Luna, right? Well, I do prefer Luna. Luna, yes, okay. I do. All right, well, welcome. Thanks so much for well, being here. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. Yes. Thank so you. Let's start with, t you've had an incredible career. And you got your start at what, nine years old? Yeah, I sponged off the family till I was nine. <laughs> Yeah. How dare you do that? <laughs> I couldn't get a job. So how did you get your start? Okay, I, I'll give you the, the short version as best I can. Okay. According to my mother, mm -hmm. she wa I was raised in New York City, and um, one night she couldn't sleep. She was reading the daily newspaper, and she put the paper down, and she turned out the light. According to mother, she did this four times. And the fifth time, she saw an ad in the newspaper that said, Children Wanted for Tales of the Rogers and Hammerstein's Tales of the South Pacific. Okay. So the next morning she told me we were going to an audition and I, I didn't really know what she was talking about, mm -hmm. but I said okay and we went and there were thousands of children there. They said Eurasian, children who could look Eurasian, uh -huh. but there were children there with blonde hair and blue eyes and I said to my mother, Mom, they were, what am I doing what? here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a, boom, a B movie, you know, right. the, the stage door opened and I kind of got pushed in and, and uh, there I, I was on stage and then it was, you know, how they line you up yeah. and it got down to this many and that many and that many and then it was five, four, three, then there was two and then I got the part. Wow, and that was Broadway? And that was Broadway, but yeah, wow. and it was the original company of South Pacific. If you have the South Pacific Broadway album, you've got me. Really? Singing the Tamoa Porca. Wow. Yeah. Well, you've been on TV, you've played, you have had roles next to Frank Sinatra, Jimmy Stewart, but a lot of people know you from your days in Star Trek, right? That Star Trek is the most important. I mean, it's wonderful. It's, I, of course, I we have a clip that we're sharing with our viewers right really? now. Yes. Oh my God, there's Marlena. Oh, and there's my captain. I know you want Was to know. Was this fun to do? This must have been a blast. Well, yes and no, actually. Something yeah. terrible happened when we were filming. Um, I woke up on the third day shooting with mm -hmm. a strep throat. Oh, that oh, is awful. I've dear. had strep as an adult, and that I, is not fun. Did you have a strep throat? I had it, yes, and I was out for three days. Yeah. Oh. It's terrible. Oh. Yeah. So I, I, I went to the studio. You don't call up Paramount and say, hello, I'm not coming right. to work today. Right. Went to the studio, and they, they said, oh, my God, she is so contagious. If, if, and, of course, the scene we had left was the kissing scene with Mr. Right, Shatner. Right, right, and you're not going to uh, kiss no. with strep throat. So what they actually had to do was send me home. Mm -hmm. And they went on to uh, another segment. And when I came back, Mr. Gene Roddenberry came to the set to welcome me back. And as he was talking to me, I could see that there was something going on in his mind. And I thought, oh, my God, they're going to fire me. And he's going to tell me that they're going to reshoot with another gal. And right. Anyway, he, was, he said, your, your wardrobe is not right. I, I was tiny, but, I, you know, you lose weight. Yeah. And right. so... He immediately called the genius wardrobe guy, whose mm -hmm. name was William Tice, came running down with a bikini and some material, took me in the corner, put me in the bikini, put the, the cap, this material around me, uh -huh. and the caftan that I'm wearing, which I, I guess you haven't shown. Yeah, we uh, that, did. We that, did, we, did well, you? Yeah, and that, I think that everybody remembers that. You look fantastic in that. That was it. <laughs> How about that? Well, well, I wish we had more time, Linda. Oh, gosh, but we must talk but about Happy Trails. We have to talk about Happy Trails. You're going to be there tomorrow. Yes. What can people expect? They can come and meet you. You're going to sign autographs? Yes, it is mm -hmm. Happy Trails Virginia style that mm -hmm. Dr. Fred Eichelman and his wife Carolyn are promoting. He always did uh, Star Trek conventions, but... People have been asking that he do Western Convention, and that's what we're here for. Neat. And it's, uh, yes, Saturday from 9 to 5, I believe, at the At, at the, the Holiday uh, Inn, at Valley View. At the Holiday Inn. So come out and meet Luna come and all out, the others. Come out, not just me, but uh, Don Collier from High Chaparral, uh -huh. and Morgan Brittany from Dallas, and uh, Kathy Garver, and John Provost from Lassie. So cool. And, oh, it's a wonderful, and come out and meet the Bunkhouse Gang. I love it. Will you I come? love it. Yes, I will. Will you come? L Luna, thank you Natalie? so much. Brittany's going to gonna come, too. Yes, oh, she's not here. Yes. Yep, that's okay. Thank you so much. Everybody gets us confused. Thank Thank you. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you.